Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Contract Wolf, NLC7 Hard Edition. NLC7 is a Eastern European mod, the total conversion of Shadow Chernobyl. This is the more obscure side of Stalker. Uh, this is the side of Stalker that I like the best. The zone is no stadium. People don't run here, they walk. All right, let's get this artifact, but we're going to drop a save at the campfire. Speed is everything in day one because your critter's really tired. Try to get a jellyfish. Don't try to get anything else because it's going to give off too much radiation. Your stamina bar really is going to be that icon in the bottom that looks like a backpack. I'm just getting my stamina up. The bolt in. Okay, so we're looking for jellyfish. Jellyfish will be around here. Of course the dog wants to try to eat me. If we take any damage from this dog, it's going to fucking kill us. These early mutant fights are awful, to be honest. You only have a knife. Alright, so let's see if I can get him. Alright, we got him. Sometimes you're not that lucky. Hey, fish. Let's go. This guy's kind of glitched out. This is something I've noticed with this mod. Stalker, what do you expect? Sure, David. And I really recommend this, guys. If you've got a phone, straight up take pictures of the dialogue. I'm not even shitting you, dude. This game doesn't mark anything in your PDA. So if you if you can't remember what they're saying, start taking pictures. Start taking screenshots. Because this game literally tells you you need to take notes. Because your PDA is not going to save it. So you see what I'm doing? Just take pictures. That's how hardcore this freaking mod is. It's like almost a guide at this point, what I'm trying to tell y'all. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the spot where you fought the bandits. Like the first fight in Shadow Chernobyl. There's a Makarov there. That's going to be your first gun. It's not going to have any ammo. You're going to have to find that ammo. These first mutant fights are going to be pretty scuffed. Okay. I recommend avoiding them. If you do have a gun... The second you fire that gun off, they're going to swarm you. Almost like the walking dead, like zombies swarming you. Just get your stamina up on this guardrail. Take your time. Like the tooltip said, this isn't a stadium. Don't, don't run in the zone. Because these anomalies are more invisible than regular stalker mods. You'll think that something like right here is perfectly fine, but there's literally an anomaly right there. Keep your bolts out when you're running around, sprinting and stuff. The guardrail is good because when they try to jump you, you can just go over to the other side. Now we're going to run to this hill. Sometimes they'll run at you and then kind of run away. Like they'll kind of like fake like they're going to do something. Then they don't ever really do anything. All right, let's get to this ASAP. Whoa. He's shooting at me. Yeah, there's a stalker over there. Come on, get this team. Okay, they're gonna start swarming that guy. I've got bandages. I can heal up. No problem. Alright. So, now it's time to save again. Use these campfires. They're literally lifeline. They don't waste so much time 
Because you're going to get killed to stupid shit in this mod. More so than any other stalker. Honestly, stalker, it's not stalker unless you die. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. This is not the container. This is an explosive. Do not, do not mess with that. I'm just trying to get a good uh, vantage point. All right, just scour the entire place. There's items that are pretty hidden here. Just hold the F button. I imagine you already knew this though, because if you played other stalker games, you know just to hold the F button. It highlights items that are laying on the ground. We got a canister. Turn the flashlight on as well. Nothing over here. So this is where the Makarov is. Can pick it up. There we go. We finally got a gun. The gun doesn't have ammo. But we'll get ammo later. We have to complete this task to gain Sadorovich's trust. I'm not just going to like work with any random guy. One thing to note, you can walk up to the military checkpoint and save at that campfire. They won't actually try to kill you unless you cross the bridge threshold. That was a lucky shot. Not always that lucky. Problem here. They can actually run up to the military. You can drop a save at the campfire. They won't actually shoot at you. But we are just going to chat with them just for the hell of it so we can say, hey, so you can get close, but don't go past the threshold. I recommend coming from this angle if you can. Kind of avoid their uh, line of vision. And just kind of do the same thing when you exit out. Okay, we got vodka. Alright. Go over here. There's another body. There's another body. BA. You can drop another save. If you need to. Letting you guys know that there's options. And there's another container. Now out back is going to be possibly the quest item. In the bushes. Hopefully it's back here. If it's not gonna be in a different location. It's in a different location. That sucks. Oh man, this sucks. I'm just going to comb the area for the quest item. Oh, here it is. Right here. Sometimes it's out back over there. This time, it spawned right there. So if you were looking for that, you're welcome. We got a bunch of new loot. So we're doing really good. Not going to go this smoothly for you, most likely, because this mod is super brutal. But... But it'll give you some direction. Because this mod does not give you direction. 
You have to take notes, read the dialogue, hell, take pictures if you need to. That is the best way to play this game. It's hard as fuck. Like an old school RPG, you know what I'm saying? Here's a container. You can take out the artifact if you want and then just give them the container, but we're not doing that. We're just going to be honest. Take this pistol and a couple of packs of ammo for it. Also some anti-rad. It might come in handy. You earned it honestly. So that's not a serious pistol. I'm not running a Red Cross here. Let's start giving away good guns for free to everyone. Go talk to Wolf. He's the elder in the camp. This one's 100% uh, condition. This one was only 39, so I don't have so much jamming anymore. And he talked about putting in your pouch. You've got to load it into your pouch, like, directly. So, you gotta put it like this. Save often, guys. Save often. All right, let's talk to Wolf. So Dorovich said you could help me get some decent weapon. You, I could help. You just need to take a trip somewhere. All right. So if you did what I did, you took pictures. You made sure you had all the quest information. You reference it back on your phone or screenshot it. So where we got to go is near the uh, electrical anomalies. There's a dead stalker over there. All right, let's get up here. The quicker you can get on top of this truck, the better. There we go. High places are always your best friend. That guy was alive, so he's definitely dead now. But like I said, guys, I played a lot of NLC7 in the past. So this is not completely new to me. That's why I'm able to help you guys out this video. All right, go ahead and get this stuff. We have to go inside of this tunnel. Gonna fucking heal myself real quick. All right, should be okay here in a second. Basically, you just gotta discharge it and run through. That's mainly how you deal with electrical anomalies. 100% condition, which is awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and. We'll hold on to this stuff. Oh, hey, we got a suppressed pistol now. All right, let's go. Now, the suppressed pistol is going to help us take down these dogs. Getting swarmed by everybody. I'm not going to try to fight them yet. Fight them from a, a vantage point is much better. Gunplay's kind of reminded me of uh, Radiophobia. Feels really smooth. Found the document. Received an AKS-74U. About time we got a good weapon. Oh, by the way, Sidorovich has a job for you. Drop by him. Says it's urgent. So. There we go. Got a gun. A good one. An actual rifle. Those series look kind of whack, but and we've got really shaky aim, but this will work. All right, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe.
I drop a comment. Once a week, I stream on Twitch to hang out with my community. So stop by and say, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.